we've got all the mods, weapons and best subclass options no matter what class you use in this straight to the point and easy to follow build guide for Season 16's Grandmaster Nightfalls. If you enjoyed this or any of my other videos, please check that you are subscribed to my channel, your ongoing support is always greatly appreciated. The Gilded Conqueror seal is up for grabs again, as well as a whole suite of Adept Nightfall loot. The new Duty Bound and Silicon Neuroma are getting the Adept treatment, and along with returning favourites, all will now have new perk roll combinations, as well as access to the new Strike and Nightfall Origin traits, meaning you might want to get hold of a new Adept Palindrome this season. Remember that all Adept weapons will allow you to place Adept mods on them as well as boosting all stats by plus 2 when fully masterworked and are arguably some of the best weapons in Destiny 2. So first, let's start with a basic mod setup that will carry you through all GMs before then looking at some more advanced options to use, finishing off with weapon choices, exotics and subclass loadouts. The inevitable nerf to protective light has happened, so now the best option for survivability is the Void Elemental Well mod, the Well of Tenacity. This mod will now give you a 50% damage resistance when it's active after collecting a Void Elemental Well. This will last for 7 seconds, but you can extend the timer if you use the Stasis mod Elemental Time Dilation. This mod allows you to stack mods that grant you time limited benefits, increasing the duration of the effect for each mod that you have equipped. Therefore, I'd recommend using at least two copies of the Well of Tenacity to bump it up. This is so that you can then use the Reaping Wellmaker mod which will create void wells on weapon final blows after using your class ability. Finally, I'd recommend using the Seeking Wells mod so that any elemental wells you create will track towards nearby players. This means you'll spend less time thinking about going to collect them and more time surviving. The last set of must have mods will be the Concussive Dampener and Resist mods on your chest armour. These give you damage resistance to certain incoming damage types, so make sure that you equip them to suit the specific nightfall burns and enemies. Don't forget that the artifact has the double arc and solar resist mod which will be useful. So that's the mod setup I think you'll be needing, but what about weapons? Fortunately there's a ton of choice weapon wise this season, especially with the introduction of crafting. But first, there's three exotics that have steamed to the top spot this season and are a must have for any Grand Master. Wither Horde is going to really help you out with both general ad clear and damage over time on champions and bosses. If you have the Catalyst, which will auto load it when holstered, it really allows you to keep sustained damage on all manner of enemies. Aga's Scepter is still one of the best exotics right now, with its freezing capabilities being S tier for stopping any enemy in their tracks with or without the Catalyst. One final blow will freeze groups of enemies in place, making them easy to clean up for you and your fire team, and with the catalyst, you can burn your super away to do increased damage and directly freeze targets on sustained impact with it. This alone kind of makes it an anti champion weapon and is definitely an option to use within a fire team. Izanagi's Burden has once again become a popular pick, mainly because of its quick swap and high burst damage potential it can offer. Maybe more aligned for those who prefer sniper rifles or fancy themselves as day one raid race players, it can definitely do bits regardless. All of these free exotics allow you to use popular high damage output weapons in your heavy slot, including the Palmyra B rocket launcher, which is an excellent choice with auto loading holster and explosive light for high burst DPS and has really accessible ease of use with its auto tracking rockets. Read Regret is as good as you'll get, as its Vice Stinger trait can fully reload the weapon and with perk combos such as Triple Tap with either Firing Line or Vorpal Weapon, it really is a must have for end game content. But obviously champions are the main pain point in Grand Masters, you've got the Anti Barrier Bow and Scout mod this season and my two favourites are the Point of the Stag which comes with Vorpal Weapon and now has a 20% damage boost on primaries and can be pulled directly from the collections or the new Under Your Skin Bow from Season of the Risen. The main reason I'm picking this one is because it can be crafted but it also rolls with the new perk Adaptive Munitions. This perk will grant you increased damage on enemies with shields of a different elemental type, therefore effectively nullifying match game, giving you a perfect all round bow for the end game. If bows aren't your thing, then the pointed inquiry can also roll with the adaptive munitions perk, otherwise old favourites like the hung jury or night watch will still do bits. Unstoppable pulse and hand cannons are next up, and I'm just going to stick with pulse rifles here due to their greater effectiveness at range. 
However, I'm not really going to cover any in particular, but if once again you can manage to get one with adaptive munitions, it'll save you a ton of hassle in dealing with match game enemies. The world loot pool Ogma and the Insidious from the new raid can both roll with it. I'd also like to recommend the Unstoppable Glaze mod, but I really can't. The Overload SMG and Auto Rifle mod isn't everyone's favourite and it is a bit buggy, but we will have to use it. Funnel Web is the flavour of the month, so I guess that you'll probably use that, otherwise Osteo Strigger is going to be excellent no matter what in Grandmasters. Crate is an excellent choice in my opinion, mainly due to the Vice Stinger trait, but with perks like Overflow, Vorpal, Headstone and Adagio, it makes it a versatile pick. Come to Pass also gets a shout out here too, again thanks to the adaptive munitions perk it can use. Alternatively there's the Void Overload mod which will likely be a ton more consistent, especially if your team is ready to burst down the champions when they are stunned. Warlocks can use the Second Filament's exotic boots which grant overload rounds when stood in an empowering rift, making Galahorn the perfect overload champion melting option. Finally we're going to look at the best subclass and exotic armour options for each class. Obviously Void 3.0 is king right now and you do really want to lean into your class ability region as that is where all the power and versatility comes from with these updated subclasses. Invisibility for Hunters and Overshields for Titans will go a long way for any survivability, with Warlocks able to create excellent area denial with the Old Gods aspect and increased grenade damage. The Echo of Undermining to apply a 15% weakened debuff to targets, the Echo of Remnants to make your Vortex grenades last longer and the Echo of Persistence to increase the duration of your Overshield and Invisibility are probably the best base fragment setups. Titans with the Ursa Furiosa exotics are pretty much a bare essential when it comes to tackling Grandmaster content. When paired with the new Sentinel Shield Super in Void 3.0, you can block incoming damage and protect your teammates, whilst providing them with the now improved 40% Weapons of Light damage buff. Hunters may still want to use the Omni Oculus for that bonus survivability it offers, but with Orpheus Rigs and the Mobius Tether Super shooting up to the top of the DPS charts this season, it's hard to look past them to be honest. For Warlocks, the second filaments will work great, especially if you're confident using them, otherwise I can't really look past the Controverse Hold Exotic Gauntlets. Paired with the Vortex Grenade, these are still S tier for solo in endgame content, let alone in a fire team, so these will be big time players this season. Stasis is still really strong in PvE content and is always massively underrated, but we've even got a few new exotics making it even more useful. A Revenant Hunter using the Renewal Grass will absolutely help to shut down and destroy a large area of enemies and is one of my favourite builds to use this season. Shadebinder Warlocks using the Stag Helmet along with the Bleak Watcher turrets are still just going to be amazing at controlling an area too and the Osmiomancy Gloves will let you freeze huge groups of adds and even champions repeatedly. Behemoth Titans don't have a ton of usability at the moment in PvE but even utilising their new Hawfrost exotic and the ability to create mass cover through Glacier Grenades and Howl of the Storm can definitely do bits. Any of the harvest aspects will be worth using for a base aspect set up across all classes as they fit in with a ton of the fragments to boost survivability. As for a base fragment set up for any stasis build, the Whisper of Torment will grant grenade energy when taking damage, the Whisper of Conduction will allow stasis shards to track to you and with the Whisper of Rhyme equip these will grant an overshield for a brief amount of time too. The Whisper of Chains will grant a damage reduction when near friendly stasis crystals or frozen enemies and the Whisper of Impetus is top tier too, especially on Revenant Hunters for reloading weapons and boosting handling for a short time on melee hits. At the end of the day, it's all just about getting the job done in Grandmaster Nightfalls. The champion mods give you plenty of great options this season to optimise your loadout as you wish and allow for great DPS choices on top. I hope that this guide inspires some build options for you and your fire team on the way to snagging some sweet adept loot. If you want a really condensed straight to the point build video, then this 3 minute build guide which gives you unlimited invisibility, boosted damage and volatile rounds is definitely one you need to watch. Plus, it'll be great for Grandmaster Nightfalls too. Remember to subscribe if you're new, like the video and also share it with your friends.